Hello Aquarius, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind, my readings are general, may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what the energy is for you guys for this week. Spirit, what is the energy this week for Aquarius? What is the energy this week for Aquarius, Spirit? What is the energy this week for Aquarius? First card we have is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Shit seems to be going good for you in the home front. Okay. Could be in regards to a relationship, the hermit. I feel like you don't want to talk to anybody or you, you're... Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all are working on y'all relationships and not really wanting to talk to your friends or nobody about what's going on with you right now. Working on your stability. Don't feel like you need to share, okay? That's fine. With the page of uh, pentacles, whatever it is that you've learned about sharing your business, what's good. You needed to learn that. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aquarius? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aquarius? The four wands. Yeah, everything's going good in your relationship. Ace of Cups. I feel like there's a new spark in romance for you and this person. Or there is a spark in romance, but you are still indecisive. Why are you questioning it? Why are you questioning it? The Seven of Pentacles. Because you're waiting. You're waiting to see what this person is going to do next. Okay, maybe you guys just got back together or maybe you guys just got together and you're like, so now what? Okay. The hermit. You're not saying anything, though. I feel like you may even be trying to stay to yourself. This almost feels like walking on eggshells, though. Okay? Like, I don't want to push anything. I don't want to make it, you know, any worse. It's, it's okay, so let's just leave it at okay for now. Seven of swords here, yeah. Walking on eggshells. Why do you feel like you need to walk on eggshells with this person, though? Seven of cups, because you really... This person may be very all over the place. Seven of Cups can speak to having a lot of different options, but also confused about emotions here. So maybe you don't know where you stand with this person, but you know things are going good with you guys right now. Yeah, things are going great right now, and you don't want to push it. With the Queen of Swords here, it's not that you're 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 being detached, but you're not doing a lot to press the envelope it's like you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing you're standing in your power however you are still walking on eggshells pertaining to this person princess of pentacles why is the princess of pentacles here why is the princess of pentacles here the magician oh you're trying you're giving as much as you possibly can to this person, but not too much to Ten of Swords because you don't want an ending to happen here. That's why you're walking on the eggshells because maybe you feel like you and this person may be about to break up. But everything's going good right now, so you're shutting the fuck up. Yeah, the Hermit. Again, Hermit's here twice. Not speaking on shit. Not speaking on shit. Scared to. Six of Cups, because of something that either happened in the past that y'all already argued about, you're trying to let bygones be bygones here. Yep. Trying to let bygones be bygones. But it's like you want to speak on something again, but you're like, I'm going to leave it alone because we, we're good right now. But something's bothering you. And it keeps throwing you into this this space of not wanting to tell or talk to anybody. Maybe not even your person about it. But you know what you know, right? And you feel how you feel. It's valid. And if you and this person are at a good point, then you should be able to talk to this person about your emotions. Okay, so let's get the future energies, the outcome and the advice for you. Future energies, outcome, advice. All right, so the driving force for the future is going to be the four of wands, stability, commitment. I want this. You want this. Obsessively thinking about it. Worried about it. Not knowing that this is really what you should be doing. Starting to question it, okay? The outcome here. You still trying to heal something. 
trying to work on it, trying to make this work. You putting in the work to make it work, though. Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here for the near future actions? Two of Pentacles. Trying to do everything by yourself, all right? Trying to juggle everything by yourself. And what is your person doing in the near future? The Hierophant. This person is trying to meet you or commit to you or do the things that you want them to do. They're trying. With the judgment here, there's a decision that needs to be made based off of what spirit, what you want to say, saying what you have to say. There's something here that you need to get off your chest. And I get it. You don't want to say anything with the five of cups. You're trying to get over it, but you have to say something. You can't keep this energy in. It's not working for you and it's not going to work for you. It's going to build up animosity. It's going to turn into hate. It's going to make a, a bad argument worse when you finally say it, okay? The outcome, the nine of wands. See, because you're guarded. And the reason why you're guarded is because you got some shit that you want to get off your chest that you're not saying. What is it? Even if things are going going good, I feel like you're you never address the elephant in the room. Whatever the fuck elephant it was, okay? Why is the outcome the nine of wands? The two of cups. The ace of wands. The death card. Wondering if somebody really changed. Wondering if this person really changed because they're back it's like you know now you want to work on things you love me i love you we're having this great start but are you really who you said you wanted to be now i don't think you're sold on this person's personality or whatever they're trying to sell you on okay advice five of fucking pentacles Ooh. why is advice the advice the five of pentacles what is it that we're needing to neglect Ooh, a page of swords, a liar. Maybe you're needing to let go of some... Oh, shit. Huh. Okay, so... If you want this relationship to work, you're going to have to let bygones be bygones. Whatever this person lied about or whatever it is that you think that this person is not doing you're gonna have to speak up about it and then let it go okay there is a need for you to express that but not in a way that it's like oh i can't it's like look this is bothering me let's talk about it because i do want to be with you i do want to build but i can't get past that until we talk about this that needs to be talked about okay and then let it go don't ever bring it up again but it needs to be talked about one more time it's really bothering you so, let's get one card from the Rebel deck. Detox. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. This could have all been in regards to a friendship. Somebody gotta go. All right, thank you guys. Bye.